Hey guys and girls, and welcome back to the world of RAR. My name is Talibur, and today we're going to continue building on the geocaching headquarters. And also what we're going to do is hopefully get the roof on this thing. And if we have enough time, I'm going to show you how to build a weather machine. Because I know you can see from all the little patches of snow here, the, the rain and the snow start coming down quite often here in the world of RAR. While I keep going on this, I'm just going to start by wrapping, putting a little ledge here. And while we get going on that, I um, just want to give you an update on some of the things that are happening here in the world of RAR. Um, Sammy MacMan is right now draining a whole lake. And I don't know what he's got planned, but he's just, he's been telling me he's been working on it for like a week. Just using sponges and draining this big portion of a lake. I don't know how big the lake is, but the fact that it's like taking a week means that it's going to be pretty big. Um, also, I've been kind of posting on our blog uh, sneak peek images of some of the builds going on. Uh, there's Whistle Stop and Silverfish's department store. Uh, we have an exciting build coming up called the Thailand Amusement Park. Um, looking for we're looking for ideas for that. So if you got any cool ideas for rides Send them on in it'd be really appreciated and maybe your ride will show up and in the world of RAR It'd be pretty cool Also uh, Latest spotlight from a couple days ago or a couple weeks ago is uh, the Tri-C engineering office um, It's located in that building behind us and uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. I like it. So yeah, this this upcoming week is going to be pretty amazing. We got Minecon coming up. I won't be there. I wish. That'd be pretty sweet. How many of you guys are going? I think it's going to be really cool. I'm 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 thinking there. We've been waiting a long time for this 1.9 update which they've called the combat update and I think they're going to release it at Minecon. I'm not sure what they're going to release, whether it's going to be a snapshot or an update. Either way, I think I think it's going to be kind of buggy, personally, because they haven't really involved the community, but eh, it might be good. And I'm not sure how much is going to be, you know, taking place for us creative guys. Um, cause it is a combat update, so it's gonna be like, battles and stuff. Although, I did see that they did have a shield slot, so, that'd be pretty cool if they had, um, shields, and then they made it customizable, just like banners. And then if you could put that, like, as decoration on the wall, that would be pretty sweet. And I think, uh, I'm gonna take a little break here to check on something to see what what the next step is here. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I think we got our design here. I'm wrapping a few stairs around the roof here, or roof line, and this will create a little bit more texture and a little bit more shadows. Um, you'll see that architects do this all the time in buildings, especially the older ones. And see, so you see that little indentation there at the corner? That's exactly what we're looking for. It's just something to give it a little bit more depth instead of a flat surface. I think it's pretty cool. So next up here, let's let's put another let's put this andesite down. So while I do that, I uh, just want to let you guys know that another edition of RAR News is coming out this Wednesday on the World of RAR blog. Um, if you're not already following us there, be sure you go over and check it out. Um, lots of building ideas, lots of uh, the creations that are here in the world of RAR, in Jersamic Park, in uh, Riotopia, and in uh, Trevoria. So lots of different lands, lots of different builds. Mostly you'll see uh, my builds and Jersamic Park's builds. Um, so we're just gonna run this uh, chiseled cobblestone, or just chiseled stone down here. I'm gonna run a half slabs around here. I got an idea. Yeah, that looks good. 
making it so that you, you get that extra little design it's just a little feature there and you probably won't be able to see it very well but I think it's a cool little detail yeah that looks good so yeah be sure you subscribe to the Google Plus community so you can get posts a day early and you also get the sneak peek posts and basically stay connected to the cool creations that are coming up here you can also post building suggestions and ideas uh, again I'm, we're looking for ideas for the Thailand amusement park so screenshots videos anything that'd be cool just to see all that um, I'm thinking actually of making a Pinterest page dedicated to that and if you hit uh, subscribe to that board follow that board I'll add you as a as a group member and uh, you can post uh, your ideas for amusement park rides there I think that'd be pretty awesome okay this building is coming along just nicely we're just gonna put a layer of half slabs on top here and this I think we're gonna use this as uh, as what we're gonna put as the roof this material here and if you guys are building in a snow biome like I am right now well I'm in extreme hills so when you're above a certain height it'll start snowing so if you're in a, a situation like that use half slabs and you won't have snow uh, pile up on your roof and uh, that's one of the tricks I like to do there that looks pretty good so I think what we'll do now is I'm gonna cut here and do the other four sides and we'll be back see you in a bit hey guys welcome back I've got the layout of uh, a little structure I'm gonna put on top here as you can see I have the roof done it was pretty boring so I cut most of that out and yeah we're just gonna lay out this pattern here it's about the, the size I want I've just used the center lines of the the building itself and kind of counted off what I want for this little structure on top it will house our weather station or weather machine and I don't know if you you guys probably don't notice because I try to cut it as much as I can but it rains a lot here in the world of RAR and I'm not a big fan of rain and I wish you could turn it off completely and not have it at all but this is the world we live in in the vanilla world I mean and we're just gonna kind of bypass it using using a little weather machine that is uh, got cooked up by uh, Sammy MacMan, although I'm sure it's he got it from somewhere on the on the YouTube's there. So yeah, we're just gonna lay out this pattern, and I think this will be the right size for for the building we need. And I'm just gonna chop out all this floor here, and you can see way down there is our weather machine. And we're just gonna use uh, this chiseled quartz as our as our building walls here. And yeah, I'm just gonna skip ahead on this and bring you back on the, the final structure. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, welcome back here. I've got the walls up and I've got a daylight sensor here that I am going to be putting down and putting two repeaters on either side put a little tick delay on it and then we need a piston put a piston there and a block there and underneath this block so when the piston extends this redstone torch will power that block and that piston will only extend when it's daylight hours so uh, command block there and we need some redstone and a repeater. And so that repeater will activate the command block, which will give us uh, 
the command we need, which is clear the weather. Now we need to run some redstone this way. So this is for when it turns nighttime. And it basically, it doesn't, it doesn't shut off the weather, like uh, the rain when it, when it starts to rain, but it cycles between day and night and find that keeps the rain away fairly well. So I just put another repeater here and you can see that it's on. Here's the command, weather clear. Simple as that. And now you can see it's powered on the nighttime side and the daylight side is off right now because it's nighttime. All right. So that looks like it's kind of want it to rain now, so we'll see if it'll work. Oh yeah, it works. Awesome. That's that's perfect. Okay, let's put a, a door through here. And this will be like an access, access port from the roof. And while I do that, we're just going to skip ahead so that I can get to the roof line of this building and we'll be soon done. So, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've followed the same kind of pattern that we did around the the other part of the roof where I've put down the chiseled stone and following it around with half slabs. And that'll keep our little design going. And we're just gonna wrap this around here like this. There we go. And I think what we're going to do is uh, let's put another half slab layer on here and that'll give it a little bit more thickness, which is pretty awesome. That's what we want. Oh, there's a mistake. Of course, it always happens. It's always good. There we are. Oh man, I'm making a lot of mistakes here with these half slabs. There we go. And one more there. So, quick way to do this little bit of roof is we get the coordinates. We're looking at the looking at coordinates. So I'm just gonna write that down, da, 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 four, nine. Okay, so, and then over here, put another block down, get these coordinates. There we are, and 60. Okay, so now we do the command fill and then we type in those two coordinates, just like this. I am such a slow typer, I am sorry. And uh, nine, seven, and 60, there we go. And now the, the type of block we wanna put in there. So we're gonna put in the stone slab, boom. Just like that, you have a roof. I love that fill command, that's pretty sweet. All right, and there we have it. There is, oh, a building. <laughs> oh man, I, that's that's embarrassing. Okay, come on over here. Let's go fly over here. There she is. We have the exterior of the geocaching headquarters. All complete. Okay, maybe not fully complete. There's still windows I gotta put in, but it's all good. Anyways, guys and gals, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel and supporting uh, the blog. Much appreciated. Every little bit counts, every little bit helps, and you guys are awesome. Um, keep sending in your ideas, and, and be sure to subscribe, and leave a like, share with your friends, and we'll keep bringing you more. And one day soon, we will do a walk through this land. And uh, yeah, until we meet again, happy crafting.